getting even better and better day by day. Well, why do we say that? It's because we are in round two, which means out of 32 schools, we have come down to 16 schools indeed. And today we have the privilege of introducing to you two top schools in Colombo who will be battling it out in this round of round two of season two of Pentathlon TV One. And before we move on with the game, the first thing we have to do is to let you know which are the schools playing in this match. So let's get started by introducing our first school here on stage. Prishma, before we get the first school on stage, just a small thing, just to give our audience a hint. It is going to be a battle between the gold. Well, everyone watching would have got the hint and it's going to be something exciting. Okay, let's continue with getting the teams into you. Right, so the first of the teams joining us on stage are the boys from DS Serenaika College, Colombo. Well, the boys from DS are on stage and ready to take on their friendly opponents. You know it already. Let's put our hands together for the boys from Mahanama College, Colombo. today are going to get very interesting because these two schools beat in rugby beating cricket they are known to be friendly rivals friendly brotherly rivals I would say it's the battle of the goals and even here today on pentathlon it's going to be a good game am I right I'll just quickly ask the captain from my left hand side from Mahanama College how is the preparation been and are you ready to take your friendly brotherly rivals? Yes, uh, we practice well for this match and we hope to win this match and uh, to take the Pentathlon Cup to Mahanama College. Well, that is what the captain from Mahanama College, Colombo, had to say about his preparation. Krishma, yes, and now like we'll question? find out how the DS Serenaika captain has been preparing with his team. Have you been preparing harder than the previous round? We are a bit excited to be back and we practiced hard in the last couple of days. And uh, we hope to do our best to uphold the honor of our school by keeping our brotherhood. Wow, fantastic. Let's give it up for both the schools. Well, in this round two, it's a chance for both teams to come together as one and then also correct from their previous mistakes and do even better and outperform on this very stage. Well, to see all those performances and much more creativity and display put on this stage, we have a marking system and that elite marking system is done by none other than our elite panel of judges. So it's right and just that we recognize them. Let us all put our hands together for Janit Gunasekara in Service Advisor, Sonal Education Office, Huckman. But also joining on the panel is Ayoma Damianti, working as a resource person in NIE and Ministry of Education. As always, we get things kick-started here on Pentathlon with the tossing of the coin. So maybe now invite both the captains to come front and centre and invite one of our judges to oversee the toss as well. Well, just like you told Chris Mike, it's time for us to kick-start things here on this match and before that we have to make sure that we have the toss ready and good to go so we have the captains both from ds and mahanama i would like to ask who will be going in with pentathlon and who will be going with tv1 going to you'll be going with tv1 yeah. which means we'll be going with pentathlon okay so let's see on whose favorite side the toss it is pentathlon which means they have to go first. We have to follow. And you have to follow? Yeah. You're certain about it? Are you ready to go first? Yes, we are ready to go. And you're ready to follow them? Yeah. Friendly rivals, it's the battle of the goal. Let's begin by shaking hands and starting things off. Yeah. 
Yes, and Anaika will be going in first with all of the games, which means Mahanama College will be following them. Well, you all are ready to follow. You all are ready to start off every match. Why should we wait anymore? Trishma, shall we start off round one? Yes, indeed. Okay, and that is called Balance. Your quiz. In our first round, Balance Your Quiz, each of our teams gets to send forward three core players. And these players have the opportunity to be able to answer five questions within a span of 30 seconds. Each correct answer gives them five points. The fifth question answered correctly gives them 10 points. However, if they do drop the table tennis ball from the table tennis bat at any given point, they will be disqualified from taking further questions. Well, you heard the rules and regulations of round one. And let's focus attention to Subhat, captain of BS. Who are your three core players for this it game? It will be Ilham, Nitina and myself. And who is coming in first? Ilham. Come down. Well, you are ready for this? Yes. Okay, here you go. You've got 30 seconds to play around with and the time is set. Let's start off without much delay in 3, 2, 1, start. Historical city Florence is found in which country? Italy. Correct. Who first introduced laws of motion? Uh, Isaac Newton. Who directed the film Godfather? Father. It's Francis Ford Coppola. Name the captain of the 1999 World Cup winning cricket team. Anybody? Wrong, it's Steve Waugh. In which country did Parvez Musharraf gain power after a military coup in 1999? Egypt. Wrong, it's Pakistan. Your questions are up. Well, that was the very first uh, display of a performance by the boys from DS. Let's move on to Mahanama College and ask Tamaru, who are your three core players for this? It will be me, Netum, and Jananji. And who's coming in first? Uh, Jananji, please come. Forward. Jananji, come forward. Here you go. You've got 30 seconds and your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Go. Historical city Constantinople is found in which country? Turkey. Correct. Who first invented the electric motor? Michael Faraday. Correct. Who directed the film Psycho? Bus. It's Alfred Hitchcock. Name the captain of the 2003 World Cup winning cricket team. Us. It's Ricky Ponting. In which country did Omar Hassan Al Bashir gain power after a military coup in 1999? Iraq. Wrong, it's Sudan. Questions are up. Well, that's how the first two players started off. Let's move on again to the second player from DS who is coming forward. Come down. The captain comes forward. Okay, so you've got 30 seconds and your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Go. Caribbean islands belong to which continent? North America. Correct. Who wrote the novel Nicholas Nickleby? Charles Dickens. Correct. A Golden Jubilee celebrates how many years? 50 years. Correct. How many Best Actress Oscars did Catherine Hepburn win? Four. Correct. Who became the man of the match in 2015 Cricket World Cup James Final? Faulkner. Correct. Your questions are asked. Okay. Right, so let's move on and see whether your next opponent is equally good. Okay, who is it going to be? It will be Netu. Come for. You've got 30 seconds and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Christmas Island belongs to which continent? North America. Wrong, Australia. Who wrote the novel Adventures of Huckleberry Finn? Australia. Wrong, it's Mark Twain. A Diamond Jubilee celebrates how many years? Wrong, it's 60. How many Best Actor Oscars did Daniel Day-Lewis win? Three. Correct. Who became the man of the match in the 2011 Cricket World Cup Final? I'm still Dhoni. Correct. Your questions are up. Let's move on to the final player from DS Sinan Icon. You're ready, so that means clock is set. Three, two, one, start. Name the third smallest country of the world. Now. Correct. Who wrote the novel Siddhartha based on Buddha's life? Herbanetu. Correct. World Population Day was named in which year? Uh, it's 1989. Name the only undefeated heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Mohamed Ali. Wrong. It's Rocky Marciano. Who first invented a telegraph machine? Samuel Morse. Correct. Your questions are up. We need to see how the final player will be displaying his talent. And it's going to be the? It's going to be the captain. Let's put our hands together for him. You know the rules? 
We know the regulations. We know it all. You've got 30 seconds to deal with. The time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Name the fourth smallest country of the world. Fox. It's Tuvalu. Which Nobel Prize winning author wrote the novel, Beloved? Mopin. Wrong, it's Toni Morrison. Which United Nations agency is responsible for naming World Population Day? Fox. It's UNDP. Name the youngest heavyweight boxing champion of the world. It's Mike Tyson. Who first invented a, a, a wireless telegraph machine? Your time is up. The answer is Guglielmo Marconi. So, with that, we come to an end of the first round. But we got four more rounds, and we need to find out how the results are like at the end of this first round. Shall we just go in for a small break, Pushpa? Yes, we should. Okay, so why wait? Let's go in for a short break. Keep it locked, stay tuned. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. We just got done with the first round between Mahanama College and DS Naika, and we are now ready to reveal the results at the end of round one. We saw in round one, Mahanama College scored themselves 25 points. Meanwhile, we have the boys from DS Tenanaika at the end of round one. Their points are 55 points. Well, there you go. You heard the points and you saw the points for yourself at the end of round one. Well, things could change. Think good spice up a bit because the next round is something to do with a lot of imagination and creativity because we'll be giving a story lead. Well, I won't be talking a lot about the rules and regulations because the expert is Prishma when it comes to rules and regulations. Let us start off round two, which we call Express. To impress. Express to impress, each of our teams will be given a story lead which they then have to continue and act out in front of our judges. Our judges will be marking them on a point scale of a total of 100 points and they have to impress the judges with their vocabulary, diction and theatrical skills. Let's start off by taking a look at what DS Tenanayaka picks for themselves. A merchant once started building a temple in the middle of his garden. Many masons and carpenters were working for the merchant. They took time off every day to go to the town for their lunch. One day, when the workers left for lunch, a batch of monkeys landed at the temple site and began playing with whatever caught their fancy. And then... Today's too hot, no? Yeah, man. <coughs> hey, man, it's our boss. Good, good. How's the construction coming along? Almost done, sir. Oh, really? Yes, sir. When it is finished, it would be the one of the most beautiful temple in the world. So, continue, continue. Okay, sir. I'm going. Hey, isn't it the lunch time? Ah, uh, five minutes left, right? Never mind, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Jules! Jules! He's coming, he's coming. Yeah, what is this? This looks like a monkey. Eee, what's happened? Bus, bus, where's the bus? Come on, come on, bus. Where are you? What have you done for this? What happened? What? See, how ugly is this? What, 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 sir? You go home. Go, no, go, sir. go. No, no. Your no, fault. Sir, we have done nothing, sir. You go home, idiots. Achoo! <laughs> oh my god! My money! Oh, sir! 
Well, that was indeed a very entertaining performance put up by the boys from uh, DS Sinanaka College, Colombo. Nice posing. Can we, can we just, to the camera, just can one of you just show that nice pose? That monkey pose? This is my one. Okay, so now your, 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 your challenge is to stay like this until we <laughs> go on with the end of the stuff. Shams? Alright, okay, you stay like that, okay? <laughs> okay, so right, so that was the performance put up by DS Sinanaka College, Colombo. Krishma, we have yet to find out whether the boys from uh, Mahanama College will also put up something equally interesting. Your legs are paining. Your time's up. Let's give him a good round of applause. So let's see what topic the boys from Mahanama College pick up. There were two fishermen who were very close pals. They used to catch fish together during weekends. Since they were busy in their personal work and family, they hardly spent time together. It was a Saturday and they decided to drive to a nearby pond to enjoy their day at fishing. Also, they want to have a feast with the fish that they catch. And then... Well, and then what happens? We are to find out how the boys from Mahanama College, Colombo, put up. Tamaru, are you ready for a splendid, solid performance? Yeah. You are ready. Okay, the team is ready. So why wait? we got two minutes to deal with. Challenge accepted. Okay, so let's start off right about now in three, two, one, go. You know, I'm very excited. I have got new fisher rod. Ah, it's very nice. I had to buy it. I bought it last week, but I couldn't use it. Then let's go fishing. Okay. Hey, can you help me? Hey, I caught a large fish. Let's have it for dinner. What's happened? What's wrong with this? There's a problem, sir. We will check. Okay, give me the remote. Okay. Yeah, now it's working. Yeah. So my new invention is successful. So okay. we can test this now. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working. It's my invention was successful. It's going to north yeah, side. It's going to north. Yeah, it's good. Hey, yeah, it's a nice. Very hard to pull. Shall I help you? Oh, whatever. It's ah. clear. Yeah, yeah. The signal yeah. was disturbed. Where signal? The signal was lost. Where's my invention? See. Okay, we will see. Okay, okay. There's, there's. Yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. What's this? No, 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 no. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Oh, my new invention is there. Did you guys get a uh, surprise? Okay, afraid? Don't be afraid. This is my new invention. The automatic robot. This, uh, my hope was to, uh, to, uh, to the, my hope was to, to uh, insert, to put this, machine into water for one minute and my invention was successful. So let's enjoy this uh, occasion. Okay, let's have some fish. Let's make a fire. We need to find out which of these schools, was it going to be DS or is it going to be Mahanama College who will be getting the most amount of points? Well, we won't be deciding it. It is over to our panel of judges. So let's ask them and see how the team teams have fared. Congratulations to both teams. When we are judging, we had to consider four main criteria. They are your creativity and how did you build up the story and vocabulary you used and content of the story. According to these criteria uh, that uh, we have given marks, DS Sinanayaka College, Colombo has scored 78 marks. And Mahanama College Colombo has scored 65 marks. Well, you heard it from uh, the judges itself. Well, they were given uh, marks on a criteria of four. And it seemed to be favoring on DS Naika College Colombo. However, we need to see how the scores look like at the end of two rounds. Krishma, do we have the scores? Yes, indeed. So we have Mahanama College at the end of round two. They have scored themselves 90 points. 
Meanwhile, DSK and Anaika at the end of round two have scored themselves 132 points. Well, there you go. That is how the point table looks like at the end of two rounds. DS Sinanaika College has surpassed 100 mark and the boys from uh, Mahanama College are yet to catch on those little points to make it to their score. Well, that is how the points look like and it's time for us, without much further ado, to move on to round three, which we call Word the Basket. <laughs> the basket each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players they will then be given a word which has 12 alphabets and many of these alphabets will be locked in order to unlock them they have to successfully net the ball into the basket each successful netting gives them 10 points and if they can correctly guess the word that gives them an additional of 70 points well those are the rules and regulations of round three which is worth the basket let's focus our attention to the boys from DSN and Aga College and see what number they pick out. This is word number four. Well, captain from DSN and Aga College uh, picked out word number four. Before that, I would like to ask you, before we take a look at what word number four is, who are your three co-players for this round? Be Ilham, Senia and Majid. Okay, so now that we know the three co-players, let's take a look at word number four. A space, D, two spaces, D, two spaces, A, three spaces, and N at the end. Subhat, who will you be sending in first and what is that letter you would like unlocked? Senior for the third letter. Third letter. Okay, come forward. <laughs> who will you be sending in next and what Ilham. letter? Ilham for the first letter. Okay, come forward. <laughs> Who will you be sending in next? I'll be coming for the letter before A. Well, the captain himself steps forward. Let's see whether he's able to get the back. Subhat was able to get the basket. Now, are you going to guess the word or are you going to send in your next co-player? Yes, we are going for the first. The fourth player? Yes, okay, it. and what is the letter he would like unlocked? Uh, letter before T. T. Come forward. They are sending an additional player. <laughs> so that was a successful basket. Captain, yep. are you going to send in your final player or are you going to decide what the word is? Yes, we are going for our fifth. The yes. fifth and final player. Will and be what is the... Uh, the letter before C. The letter before C. Okay, come forward. <laughs> Subhat, now the pressure builds up because you have a very little amount of time to guess what the word is. Yeah. Are you ready to reveal to us what the word is? Yeah. Subhat, I'll be beginning my countdown right about now. Five. Yeah. It's a challenge. Four. Yes. Three. Yes, we are ready. You are ready. Okay. Spell out the word and let's see if it's right or wrong. Ready your dedication. Can you spell each letter out? E, D, I, R, U, D, I, C, A, T, I, O, N. Okay. I'm not very sure if there is a word like that, but we need to find out. It could be even the first time we are hearing it in the history of words. It's time for us to see whether erudite dedication or something of that form is a word which exists or not. Let's take a look. Sadly, you were not able to make history by putting that word on Pinter. Okay, but nevertheless, let's give it up for their talent.
Okay, so the boys from DSN and ICA were not able to get that score. But the boys from Mahanama are gearing themselves up. Are you ready to pick out the number? Yes. yes. So let's see what Tamara picks up. This is word number nine. Well, the captain from Mahanama College, Colombo, picked out word number nine. Before we take a look at word number nine, who are your three core players, Tamaru? It will be me, Chenuga and Mitsilu. Okay. Now that we know the three core players, let's take a look at the word. It has a space at the start, A, two spaces, S, two spaces, B, three spaces and G at the end. Tamaru, who will you be sending it first yeah. and what is that blank you would like answer? I will come the letter before S. So you need to tell me, who will you be sending in next? Uh, it will be Chenuka for the first letter. Captain, uh, what is your decision? Mitsuri um, will come for uh, the letter before B. The letter before B. Okay, come forward. Captain, you have so many uh, blanks discovered. Are you going to go with your next player or are you going to decide what the word is? Uh, my next player. You're going to send your next player. Yeah. And what is that uh, will be in room, letter? Uh, for the uh, next... Uh, the you need to the make a decision. The letter the after S. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> Captain, you have sent the extra player. Are you going to send another player? Yeah, I agree. And it will what is that letter? The letter after B and Simal will come. Okay, the final player. Let's see how well he is able to net the bar. <laughs> Two unsuccessful attempts and your chances are over, which means you have to decide what the word is. Are you ready for it? Well, the boys from the opponents were not able to score the mark. I'll be starting my count. It is a time for you to get those points for your school. Five. Are you ready? Four. Three. You're going to say what the word is. Okay, spell it out individually with all those letters. Tell us the word first. Time is moving fast, so you have to tell what the word is. You have to tell the word because you stopped my count. Backstaping. Backstaping. Can you spell it out? B A C K S T A B T I N G. Let's take a look. What is the word? It is very common to all of us because all of us go through this. It's called backstabbing. If you got that one, one letter, everything would have been sorted for you. The one letter. What is the letter? If the P became a B, what would have happened? You would have got your points and you would have outclassed your opponents. Well, tough luck. That's how the game goes on. Krishma, what should we do now? Well, it's time now for a quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Two. Well, the last round, just before we went for a commercial break, was very interesting because both teams were able to add in new words to our Vocabulary. terms of talking. <laughs> Someone said, edu something, which I can't pronounce. Another one said, step. What was it? Step. I still can't <laughs> figure out what the word is. But nevertheless, that is how the game ended. And we need to find out how the two teams have fared thus far at the end of three rounds. Let's take a look at the scores. At the end of round three, we had Mahanama College scoring themselves zero points and therefore their total right now is 90 points. <laughs> also, DSK and Naika in round three scored themselves zero points and therefore their total remains at 133 points.
Well, scores remain constant, just like it was at the end of round two. Sadly, although you all were able to net the basket, although you all were able to net the basket by certain of your players, you were not able to guess the word which remains your points constant at the end of three rounds. Well, we are going to talk to you and you are going to play something interesting and this is something which you have never played even in round one. So it's going to be something new. It's a new addition. Let's find out. We call the fourth round Target. Your knowledge. In round four, Target your knowledge. Each of our teams gets to send forward three core players. And as you can see, we have a new improvisation to this round. We have a mini golf course set up inside the studio and each of our teams gets to try their luck at swinging the golf club and ensuring that the ball falls into one of the many holes which has a corresponding colour. Each colour represents a subject from where they will be asked a question. Each question answered correctly gives them 25 points. If they choose to double, they will get 50 points for a correct answer. But if they choose to double and answer incorrectly, that will result in negative marking. Well, those are the rules and regulations of Target Your Knowledge. This is our fourth round. Well. Just like Trishma mentioned, here you go, this is the new edition and let me tell you what these colours represent. So we have blue which is sports and games, yellow is art and entertainment, red is science and technology, orange is history, green is geography, purple is the treasure and white is the lucky one, the trump where you could select any of these topics which I just mentioned. So the ground is set, the course is set, it's time to find out how very well the battle of the goal goes in terms of golf. Okay, so captain from DS in Anayaka College, Subhat, who are your three core players? It will be Senia, Ilham and myself. And who is coming in first? Ilham. Come down. <laughs> well, Ilham, I believe I was told by your friends that you're very good in soccer. But let's see whether you're good when it comes to golf. Are you ready? Let's start. Three, two, one. So it was first purple and then it went on to become a green hole. So let's find out what the subject is. It is geography. You've got geography, would you like to go in for a double? All right, let's take a look at the visual. It is an ancient fortress in southern Israel's Judean desert. It's on a massive plateau overlooking the Dead Sea built around 30 BC. Name it. Your options are A. Machara B. Masada C. Magdala or D. Maresha Your time is ticking. Five, four, three, C. two. C. You go with C. Magdala obviously never heard of this sport before okay so you have said C Magdala the correct answer is B Masada well the guests didn't go right for the boys from DS and Anak College Colombo it's time for us to see how very well the opponents take part in this challenge and let's focus attention to Tamaru the captain from Mahanam and ask who are your three co-players for this it will be Netu, Metsiru and Chenuga and who will be coming in first Metsiru will come come back Ready? Three, two, one, start. So, Captain, what do you think he needs to go with? What sports. subject? Sports. Sports and games. Yeah. You've got sports. Do you want to go in for a double? No. Okay, let's take a look at the visual. You saw the only person to have won an Olympic medal and a Nobel Prize. Name him. Your options are A. John Rayleigh Mott B. George Catlett Marshall C. Lester Bowles Pearson or D. Philip Noel Barker And the answer is B. B. George Catlett Marshall and this is a guess? Yes. Yeah. Yes, all right. So you've answered B. The correct answer is D. 
Philip Noel Baker. Well, that guess too didn't work out right for the boys from Bahanama College, Colombo. Let's shift our attention once again to DS Sanayaka and find out from Subhat who is coming in next. Seni will be gone. Come forward. Okay, the time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Well, that was indeed a very easy uh, shot for the boy from DS. It was a drum and what is the subject you will be selecting? Uh, we are going to go for sports. Sports and games. Okay, let's take a look. You've chosen sports. Do you want to go in for a double? No, let's take a look at your video. He broke the US supremacy in swimming by winning both 50 meters and 100 meter freestyle events in the 1992 and 1996 Olympics. Name him. Your options are A. Alexander Popov, B. Lenny Kreiselberg, C. Alexander Bushinov, or D. Sergei Bolshikov. Your time is Alexander Popov. Have you heard of this person? So it's a guess once again. You have guessed A. Alexander Popov. And that is the correct answer. Well, we need to see whether luck by chance or whether it's purely based on knowledge wise works out for the boys from Hanama. Who will you be sending in next? Kilvi Neto. Okay, come forward. Three, two, one, start. Well, you have lost one chance, but here you go. You have another two chances to work off. Lost another chance. Let's see if you go slow and easy. Maybe it might work out well for you. Your last chance. So, Make the maximum of the last. He selected and rather got yellow, which is art and entertainment. Arts? Would you like to go in for a double? No. no. Let's take a look at your visual. You saw an Indian actress, model and beauty queen who was crowned Femina Miss India Universe in 1994 and she later won the Miss Universe 1994 contest at the age of 18, becoming the first Indian woman to win the competition. Name her. Your options are A. Lara Datta B. Shushmita Sen C. Yukta Mukhi or D. Manushi Chilar The answer is A, Lara Datta. Do you watch Hindi movies? No. <laughs> All right, because this is a simple question. You have answered A, Lara Datta. The correct answer is B, Shushmita Sen. Well, that is why we tell when you come on pentathlon, you need to be very well versed, be it from Hollywood to Bollywood to Collywood to all the woods you need to know. Let's move on to the final player. Yes, let's move on to the final player from DS Nanaka College, Colombo. Captain. I'm coming. The captain comes forward. Okay. Three, two, one, start. Well, the drums seem to be working very well for these players from DS Nanaka College. Let's see what they select. Yes, we are going for arts and entertainment. You've chosen arts. Would you like to go in for a double? Yes, we are going for a double. Yes, you are going in for a double. All right, they're taking that chance. Let's give it up to them. Let's take a look at your visuals. You saw the best-selling boy band of all time with over 100 million records sold worldwide. Identify them. Your options are... A. New Kids on the Block B. 
NSYNC, C, Backstreet Boys, or D, Take That? C, Backstreet Boys. C, Backstreet Boys. Now this is an answer for a double. How sure are you about your answer? About 90%. 90%. Have you heard their music before? Okay, so they're 90% sure this is an answer for a double. They have said the answer is C, Backstreet Boys. If it's the incorrect answer, you know what happens. There's negative marking. The correct answer is C, Backstreet Boys. That's 50 points. Okay, right. So that is how the boys from DS made use of the double chance and doubled their points. Let's see the final chance, the final player to come on this golf course and take part in this match. Tamaru, who is it going to be? Kiri Chenuga. Come forward. Are you ready? We are ready. Okay, three, two, one, start. Well, it is a trump again for the boys from Mahanama. Let's see if they are also going to follow DS and Anaga College and go with the double or are they going to play it safe? It's time to see what topic they select. You selected geography. Would you like to go in for a double? Yeah. Yes, they are going in for a double. Let's give them a round of applause. Let's take a look at your visual. Identify the country highlighted on the map. Your options are A, Niger, B, Senegal, C, Mali, or D, Guinea. The clock is ticking. B, Senegal. This is an answer for a double. How sure are you about your answer? 50%. 50%. Okay, there's 50 marks up for grabs. Let's see if this is the correct answer. Your answer is B, Senegal. The correct answer is C, Mali. Well, we need to find out how both schools have fared at the end of four rounds. So let's shift our attention to the points table. Let's now take a look at the scores at the end of round four. In round four, we saw Mahanama College unfortunately scoring themselves negative 15 points. And that brings their total to 75 points. Let's give them a round of applause anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, DS Tenanaika in round four have scored themselves 75 points. And that brings their total up to 208 points. Well, if you think things are over here in Pentathlon Season 2, this match, well, you are wrong. Because we got one more interesting round, which we call the fifth and final round. It is the buzzer round. the fifth and final round, the buzzer round, the rules are very simple. We have 10 questions and each correct answer gives the team 10 points. Let's get started with question number one. Name the only world organization to have won the Nobel Peace Prize. International Committee of Red Cross. Okay, I will continue my question. To have won the Nobel Peace Prize three times, the correct answer is indeed International Red Cross. We move on to question number two. Who was the architect of the Panama Canal? Nithina? Ferdinand D. Lesseps. That's the incorrect answer. Do we have the correct answer from here? No? Okay. The correct answer is John Wallace. We move on to question number three. Isaac Newton was educated in which academic in... Subhas? Trinity College. I will continue my question. In which academic institution located in Cambridge? The correct answer is Trinity College. 
Question number four. Which company first introduced a smartphone back in the year? Subhash. Ericsson. Back in the year 2000, the correct answer is Ericsson. <laughs> Question number five. Name the only actor other than Marlon Brando. Subhash. George C. Scott. I will continue my question. Name the only actor other than Marlon Brando to refuse Best Actor Oscar that he won. The correct answer is George C. Scott. Question number six. With current Dalai Lama Tenzing Gyatso, how many Dalai Lamas have there been throughout history? Subhat? 14. 14 is the correct answer. <laughs> Who is considered the father of modern physics? Subhat? Galileo Galilei. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number eight. Which country won the most medals in 2018 Winter Olympics? Netu? Norway. Norway is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number nine. Name the first Pope to originate from the Southern Hemisphere as well as the American continent. Nitina? Pope Francis. That's the correct answer. And here is the final question of the final round. Question number 10. The recent meeting between US President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un took place in... Singapore, Sentosa. I'll continue my question. In which country? And the correct answer is Singapore. And that brings us to the end of the fifth and final round. And this is indeed round two, which means the challenge has increased and the heights have increased because the best of the best compete on this stage. With that being said, we need to find out who will be walking closer and gradually towards the grand finale. We'll have all those details and we'll be also avoiding the title you and I very well know, which is called the pentathlete. After this short break, keep it locked. Keep it tuned with TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Hello and welcome back. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Well, just before heading on to a very short break, we told you that we'll have all the nail-biting experience. And when we saw that nail-biting experience, we need to see who the winner is. But before that, we also mentioned that we'll be awarding a special title in this very match which is called the pentathlete well we don't know who the pentathlete will be it is over to our elite panel of judges to read out who the pentathlete is going to be either from mahanama college or either from cs Naga college colombo let's find out pentathlete of this week we selected subhat from dsn and Naga college Well, thank you very much for reading out the pentathlete of this match. Well, it is indeed a clear-cut victory for you watching us at home that it is indeed Subhat. But to get the pentathlete, there is so much of a criteria that builds up its leadership, how you manipulate your team and how very well you're versed and how very well you're able to question and answer those questions which we throw at them. So all of that brought together is when you're awarded the pentathlete. So congratulations, let's put our hands together for Subhat. If at all, you are able to win the grand finale, how would you feel? We are very happy to, uh, that's a dream actually. We are having that dream. We are trying to take that championship to our school and to make our mother DS proud. Well, some great words coming out. Well, the dream is to win that grand finale trophy. Well, it's a dream of everyone who takes part in Pentathlon, but nevertheless, here in Pentathlon, we believe if you are a part of us, you are indeed a champion. Well, we can't forget the strong opponents from Mahanama College, Colombo. They are here today for a reason. You are the top 16 selected from the rest of the schools, which means you're greater than the rest. Do you agree with me? Okay, so shall we all put our hands together for their effort as well? 
Well, Krishma, no one walks empty-handed. Yes, but before we find out who will be going home with participation certificates, let's figure out what the results are at the end of round five. So let's get started with Mahanama College in round five. They score themselves 20 points and that brings their final up to 95 points. Meanwhile, in round 5, DSN and Aika scored themselves 65 points and that brings their total to the winning score today, 273 points. We would like to invite our elite panel of judges who have been with us throughout to assist us with the distribution. Well, first and foremost, it's right about time for us to recognize and appreciate the hard work put in and he earned the title today. It is none other than our pentathlete. Let's all put our hands together for Subhat from DS Naraka College, Colombo. Let's now recognize the journey and the tireless effort put in by the opponents today, Mahanama College. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Well, it is time for us to say goodbye for today and wrap things here. But before that, once again, we would like to thank our elite panel of judges for being with us. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am, for being with us and assisting us throughout this game. Without your effort, this is not possible. Thank you very much. And also for all the boys who are participating from each school and also the tutorial staff from each school, thank you very much for being with us. And once again, hats off to the opponents. Nevertheless, try, try, and you will win that someday. With that thought, and also congratulating DS Naga College. We'll be seeing you soon in another game as we progress. It's time for us to again say good night and good luck in everything you do. This is none other than TV1 Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season 2. two. Together to build up a future, we know love.